Hi friends, I recently reviewed LEDPOT mini 5 pod hydroponic system and I mentioned that I started experimenting with it. I just got the results from my first experiment with it. Let's go through the results and evaluate the performance. In my first experiment, I am growing a Paris Island cos lettuce. This is a romaine variety. I have grown this lettuce many times in many hydroponic systems. In right conditions, I should be able to start harvesting the lettuce from day 25. Let's see how it will turn out in this lead pot mini. I am placing 3 to 4 seeds in each pod and starting with all pods. Depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings and keep only one plant per pod. That's it, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition right away. I will add nutrition once I see the seedlings. This system came with AB nutrition but I will use Maxi Grow throughout this grow cycle. This garden is all set and good to go. It's been 10 days. I see the seedlings in 4 pods. Somehow none of the seeds germinated in this pod and I just replaced the seeds. It is time to thin out the seedlings and start adding nutrition. As I said earlier, I will use maxi grow nutrients throughout this grow cycle. The bowl capacity of the system is 1.5 liters. I will start with 1 teaspoon of dry nutrients for now. Going forward, I will use about 3 fourth or maybe 1 teaspoon of nutrients for 1 liter of water. Alright, I mixed up the nutrition. So now I am going to add it to the bowl. Then now I am thinning out the seedlings. I am just pulling out the weakest plants. That's it. So far so good. It's all coming very well. It's day 17. The lettuce is coming very nice. This lettuce is supposed to pick up the growth from now on. Let's see. One issue I am seeing with the app is, it is telling me that there is insufficient nutrient and water in the planter, but I have enough water and enough nutrition. This notification is definitely overwhelming. Let me show you the bowl. Look at this, there is plenty of water and nutrition. So this notification is definitely a random one just popped up not a genuine notification. It's day 18. Look at this beautiful lettuce. This garden is looking so beautiful. Cute, compact yet nice production and well designed. I am really loving this garden. It can go anywhere like a small corner in the kitchen. It's day 23. The lettuce is coming excellent. I see it is getting overcrowded already. Three plants took over the garden and they are blocking the light coming on to the front plants. So these two plants are coming a little weak. If I harvest the lettuce aggressively, I think that will be fine. The light will be distributed properly to all the plants. But if I leave this garden as is for longer, these two plants are going to struggle as they are not getting any light. So I will start harvesting the lettuce pretty soon. It's day 29. The lettuce is coming excellent and it's time to start harvesting. Normally this lettuce comes super strong, super crispy. I don't see uh, the same amount of, uh, same level of crispiness in this garden. But it's not bad. Alright, that's good for the day. I got enough salad for today. Day 47, the lettuce is looking good. It is fresh, green and healthy, but the plants started getting bolted. Usually Paris Island lettuce goes for a long time. I have grown it once in Aero Garden Harvest and that lasted for 4 months. I don't expect the same from this garden because this is a very basic, compact and specifically designed as a countertop system. It has only 10 voltage lights, 
So it definitely did its best, but not better. I wish the lights are little more powerful. Look at these plants in the front. They are extremely weak. They are looking like some wine based plants. The plant in the center is just okay, better than the plants in the front. Plants in the back are doing great from the beginning and they are little strong compared to the rest. But they also started bolting. Overall, this system is okay to grow some basic plants like lettuce. This is intentionally designed as a compact system to sit somewhere in the corner of the kitchen. It is really good for children and beginners to learn about hydroponics. I am going to keep experimenting with it and find the best use cases for this garden. So please stay tuned and I will keep you updated with all my experiments. I have few petunias I recently started in Aero Garden Harvest. I will transfer one of these pots into LED pod mini and see how they work. That's going to be my second experiment with this LED pot mini. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.